everyone it's May's body shop here again welcome back to my channel and another exciting episode for you to learn something about your skin if today is your first time of passing by guys you're welcome to the family um, this is a skincare related channel we talk about skincare we talk about healthy living all the times we make tutorials on how to achieve that banging flawless looking skin tone Yes, if you're going to be finding this channel interesting or helpful, please, you know what to do. It's absolutely free. Click on the red subscribe button down below. Yes. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so as to be updated whenever there's a video I me. Yes, today is Wednesday and Wednesdays are usually for pep talk reviews of some products in the market and other times we make short tutorial videos as well yeah so today i'm going to be talking about sunblock and sunscreen it's very important it's of great importance that we take good care of our skin it's important for us to protect our skin from sun rays guys it's very important you can't go out during the day without protecting your skin from the sun yes don't do that don't go out without protecting your skin from the sun it can damage your skin guys don't do that please always protect your skin from the sun yes there are so many ways you can protect your skin from the sun the number one thing you want to do to protect your skin is um, when you're going out during the day if it's important um, you should wear clothes that covers your skin properly you know wear clothes that covers your skin and also you can wear a hat a big hat that would cover your face as well and some other times you can also wear this big sun these um sunglasses or sunshade that has white um, yes you can also do that to protect your skin and if it's not important stay at home you know don't go out when it's really sunny because it can cause a lot of harm than good to your skin so it, you need to inculcate the habit of protecting your skin when going out in the sun but guys your gap pata pata of them all is that's the best of the best ways you can protect your skin from sun is to wear a sunscreen or a sunblock. The depletion of um, the ozone layers actually increase the risk of sun damage and this is caused by the UV rays itself. So what the sunscreen and sub sunblock does is to help us reduce or combat these rays by reducing um, of all the likelihood of um, sunburn, um, damaged skin over a period of time because if you stay under the sun for a long period of time, your skin gets to, your skin tends to get damaged. But most times, some people when they walk under the sun for a long period of time, they tend to have two colors. Um, from the place where their clothes is covering their body will be very fair. Other places that are exposed to the sun will now get darkened. Yeah, so this is a, it's a work of this sun that causes their skin to have two different colors. Yeah, so that's why you need to protect your, your skin from the sun. Having said that, let's now get to the real business of today. Yes, the difference between sunscreen and sunblock. Yes, this sunscreen is the most voluminous in the market. Most people know the sunscreen more than sunblock. Yes, most people tend to buy sunscreen more than sunblock. This sunscreen, you know, um, it filters the skin rays. It also keep most rays out of your body but it allows sun to enter like you heard me say most i didn't say all yes it keep most of the rays out of your skin it allows sun into your skin as well and um it's also a chemical sunscreen yes the major ingredient used 
for this particular sunscreens are the avo benzone the oxybenzone and the para amino benzoic acid this helps to absorb most of the sun rays penetrating into our skin so if you have a very sensitive skin you should think twice because um, sunscreens are usually not best for you it um, has this ingredient or composition that will help you have some itchy feeling you need to think about it twice if you have a sensitive skin i would not advise that you use a sunscreen i prefer you use a sunblock instead so on the other hand the sunblock reflects sun rays from the skin it also blocks sun from penetrating or it blocks rays that's UV rays from penetrating into the skin and also it's um, known as or referred to as the physical sunscreen yes and um, this sunblock stays on the surface of the skin as a result it acts as the shield against the sun that's why it works it doesn't allow the skin to get damaged because it stays on top of your skin most times suns blocks are usually opaque and then um, they are easily noticeable when applied on the skin and some people tend to think this as a disadvantage because um you, you cannot rub it all over your body and be looking all white you know what i mean and so but if you are if you try to rub it evenly it um, settles into the skin but most times it stays on the surface of you and the major ingredient for this um, sunblock are i think the ox um sorry zinc oxide and the titanium oxide those are the main key ingredients of this sunblock so the difference like i said for the sunscreen they absorb they go into the skin while sunblock stays on the surface of the skin so guys um, the sunblock and the sunscreen they work um, they work a whole lot from protecting your skin against sun damage yes but it's of great importance for you to know that if you're prone to allergies or inflammations most time if you use products and you react easily if you have sensitive skin or you are prone to rosea that's those reddish reddish um acne tiny tiny acne on your skin rashes you should stay away from products that contains PABA or oxybenzone. Yes, all product that contains um, preservatives and fragrances. This will trigger a, a lot of skin condition on your skin. And most times, these ingredients or compositions are found in our sunscreen today. So when you want to get a sunscreen, you should always look out for ingredients as such as um, PABA, oxybenzone, um, and other ones that has fragrance, so as not to allow your skin to react to the products. And also, if you're choosing an S uh, a sunscreen or a sunblock, you should go for the one that is higher than SPF 30. Yeah, it should be above SPF 30. Yes um i'll be showing you now my own sunblock that i use um i also use a particular one apart from this one this one is skin doctor face and body moisturizing sunblock cream yes this is what i use i don't know if you can see it you know this is what i use i don't go a day without using this it's really very nice if i don't get to use this one sometimes i use the neutrogena hydro boost yes the neutrogena hydro boost is also very good this one protects against ample sun rays and it moisturizes for a brighter softer and more glowing skin it is spf 60 this is spf 60 and it is skin doctor face and body moisturizer moisturizing sunblock yes it's very soft it has a very soft feeling um, that's what i use 
from my skin anytime i want to go out you know i just try to blend it in properly i apply it regularly like i said the neutrogena hydro boost is also very good for your skin yes so try as much as possible to inculcate that habit of applying a sunscreen on your face it's really very important for you to always do that so you don't damage your skin yes so that's all that we're going to be talking about today um let me know what you think let me know your own favorite um sunscreen let me know what you think about your sunscreen and if you have anything whatever that you want me to talk about please don't forget to drop it on the comment section till i see you on my next video it's bye for now thanks for watching and have a beautiful day